As a young lady, Henriette led the life of the rich. She had servants, attended dances, music concerts, and dinners. She was described as a lovely person, full of life and gaiety. A gifted musician who also had a beautiful singing voice. Popular among her peers, she was admired for her happy disposition, quick wit, and genuine goodness of heart. Prevalent social attitudes and lifestyles were superficial and worldly. However, she later would regret the frivolity or worldliness of her youth. In 1789, her relatives obtained for Henriette the title of Canoness of Malta, after which she was referred to as Countess Henriette. It was 1774 when Louis XVI would become the King of France of the House of Bourbon at the death of his grandfather, Louis XV. The Kingdom of France by this time was on the verge of financial collapse and no serious efforts were made to address the financial crisis or to hear the concerns of the Third Estate, France's peasantry. By 1789, the crisis had reached its tipping point and the Third Estate proclaimed themselves the As National Assembly after King Louis XVI failed to reach an agreement at the convocation of the States General. Not long thereafter, the Bastille Fortress, which in the public's eyes symbolized the absolutism of the nobility and regarded the capture of the Bastille Fortress as symbolic of the overthrow of France's feudal system, the old regime. With the overthrow of the old regime, by 1793, the Catholic faith is suppressed by the new government and the church is removed from all public life in an effort to be stamped out of the French people. This would only give birth to a religious revival. From 1792 to 1793, Henriette's family sheltered priests who did not take the oath of allegiance to the state. A priest is discovered in their house and on October 22, 1794, she and her mother are imprisoned in Las Bataliers. The first contact with violence and destruction moves Henriette to an inner depth. Through the oppressive conditions of prison life and her contact with violence, she discovers herself and God. It is a desert experience that reveals an essential feature of her personality, her capacity for interiority, her depth that was perhaps lulled by the easy life of Poitiers. It is the hour of total conversion.
if I confess, it is with the decision to deny nothing to God. In September 1794, the Eimer ladies were released from prison. 27 years old, Henriette devoted herself to serving her impoverished mother and to praying. She wanted to make reparation for the grievous offenses committed against God. She was particularly sensitive about disrespect towards and neglect of the Blessed Sacrament. This priest speaks as I pray. I was battered by the events, but not converted. I owe this favor only to you. When you organized the adoration and assigned me an hour, without suspecting it, you fixed my destiny. A special relationship begins between her and Father Kudrin. He is her true director, spiritual companion, guide, thus she felt. But in this world of mystical experience, so difficult to understand, Henriette sees with clarity the way that God is revealing for her congregation. One can see that, although she is a disciple of Father Kudrin, venerates him deeply and submits to his judgment in all that concerns the congregation. Frequently, he is the one who allows himself to be guided by what Henriette intuits in her long hours of prayer. Between 1800 and 1801, the Good Mother wrote the B.A.s, or notes, to the Good Father of a vision of four saints whom she felt the new congregation should emulate. St. Pacomius, a desert father in Egypt, a founder of Cenobitic monasticism, of his penance and silence, his founding of a community, St. Augustine, of preaching, welcoming, and converting sinners, and those who have wandered from the faith, St. Dominic, defender of the, the privileges bestowed by the Blessed Virgin, instruction of the youth, learning and preaching, St. Bernard, standing alongside the Pope, King, and Bishops, his sweetness of love of God and his preaching. I desired to be consumed like this candle. 